Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Thompson, Managing Director for Talga Resources. How are you today, Mark? Good, thanks, Tracy. And Mark, I'm calling, I'm speaking with you right now in Germany where you've been speaking on graphene. Can you tell us a little bit more about what your presentation was on? Uh, yeah, it was really on an update on the bulk commercial applications of graphene. So where are the products at that we're moving from the raw materials into the actual product space, so applications in concrete or plastics or um, paint coatings. So it was really an update on that here at uh, some of the technical groups, which I can visit uh, on my pathway to our pilot plant, which is here in, in Rudolstadt, Germany. Mark, thank you so much for stepping in and helping us explain to our audience because I'm amazed at how many people still do not understand what graphene is. So can I get you just to give us an overview of what this amazing critical material is? Sure, Tracy. The, well, it's a layer of crystalline carbon. In its purest form, it's one layer, but in industrial applications, it can be 10, 20, five different atom thick layers. And what it is different to graphite is that uh, graphite has got many, many, many layers and it's very slippery and it's got certain uh, things that it does very well. When you make it thinner and it becomes graphene, essentially it's just a thinner version, then the properties change. It's electrical properties, it's strength properties, they actually tend to increase. So graphene is like a super form of graphite. It can actually do all sorts of things much better than graphite or things graphite can't do. And that's what's exciting about it is that after 400 years of people knowing what to do with graphite, you've now got a new world where they've only had this material for about 10 years. And so it's capable of altering a lot of products in different ways. And of course, there are many myths about this super metal, as some people call it. So let's start with the first one. The first myth, I believe, is that there are no revenue models yet for graphene, and, and it's way, it's a future metal. No one wants it right now. Can you tell us where we are in the graphene process for commercialization? Uh, well, certainly in the early stages, but it's certainly commercializing. Uh, you've got carbon nanotube producers, for example, individuals producing 400 tons a year selling what is essentially a graphene wrapped up into a tube. So I don't think you can argue about graphene itself being uh, not commercial. Also, bear in mind that people from reading the media, I guess news releases and stuff, think of graphene in this perfect way. But industry doesn't need perfection. It often needs uh, material that's ready to move into a, a standard product where they're already using a form of carbon. So if your carbon is just better than a carbon they're already using, it can just shift, it can shift in. So uh, I'd say that it's just, it's well underway and I, I don't understand people that think it's all off in the future. Graphene applications that you dream up can be in the future, but currently the world uses hundreds of thousands of tons of carbon right now. If your graphene is capable of doing some of those jobs, you can go into those products right now. All right, so let's just get into it. Where are these applications currently being used? What industry sectors are you tapping into, for instance? Well, the ones I can tell you about and the ones we publish, obviously, there's some that we might keep to ourselves, but the, the most public ones that we talk about are paint and coatings, uh, are really high on the agenda because the volume of the market is very, very large. Graphene has an extremely big effect in it, so you can double or triple the performance of some paints and coatings. It has a clean sort of environment angle insofar as that you're decreasing the uh, bad chemicals and toxins that are normally used in paints, and you're replacing some of that material with, uh, with the graphene. So one of those uh, is a classic. Uh, something else, I guess, in the, um, uh, in the range of carbon fibers. Carbon fibers are currently massive, massive market, composites for airplanes and so forth. It's pretty in automotive. Once you get electrification of vehicles, you need light weighting, so you're going to get more and more cars with carbon fibre parts. And that, that car, some of that carbon component can be replaced with graphene to actually add strength to that material, which decreases weight if you use less material. And now you've got less CO2 per kilometre driven of your car. And it's a current, it's a current market for that material. Uh, I could list a whole range of others, but the ones we're most, mostly focusing on are current markets with coatings, Current market with batteries, where graphene is better than graphite in lithium-ion batteries. So I thought that goes without saying, but I guess I should remind everyone that graphene can build a much better battery than graphite. Um, the third thing uh, there on the epoxies and composites. And the fourth thing, which is uh, a big market that we're doing a bit of work on, is concrete which is a fairly new application, which is conductive concrete. But there's two types of conductivity, and one of them is a current market. There's already large companies, giant companies, already using graphite in concrete, and we would look to replace some of that with graphene. So they're all current, they're all current things. They're not invisible elevators to the moon. Uh, I understand they're not rollable TV screens and stuff like that. 
it's just concrete, it's just paint, it's just tyres and rubber and wires, it's just normal stuff. Uh, it's just a matter of you set up for volume and pricing to be able to supply those markets. It's not a, necessarily the technology challenge. Well, Mark, as always, it is a pleasure. And for anyone out there wanting more information, please email me personally at info at investorintel.com. Mark, thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Cheers.